so many times and I'm trying to understand because if these were kids and the disciples were there and Jesus wanted to bless the baby, why did the disciples interrupt him? But let me just put my flip on it. You know, There are times when God want to give you a blessing. I'm jumping off the text. And there's always going to be people that's going to try to block your blessing. Lord have mercy. So uh, when you come to church, watch out for those blessing blockers. No, so I'm not open about that, but you know, you have some real, uh, can I put it any friends to you? Some bad mind people. I thought the disciples were really bad mind. Uh, let's get back to the reading. But when Jesus saw it, he was <laughs> displeased said unto them, suffer the little, in other words, Jesus was angry, I'm paraphrasing, uh, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, so ever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. But watch this. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them and bless them and we will do likewise. Praise the Lord everybody. Congregation you can be seated. It's good to see mother. It's good to see father. It's good to see grandmother. It's good to see a proper support structure. Ah, Lord have mercy. The structure that surrounds this child is so solid. I don't think this child can do no wrong. Praise the Lord Jesus. Oftentimes, I, I was listening to something last night on the Ted Live Vision, and I heard them saying, praise the Lord, that uh, the, pa the parents should abdicate the responsibility and the teachers should do more and the church should do more and this should do more and that should do more. But look at it this way. The, the, the community wasn't there when they were getting together. The teacher wasn't there when they were getting together. The principal wasn't there when whosoever was getting together. So in other words, the responsibility of your child is not for the community. I ain't giving over my child to no community. The devil is a liar. The responsibility starts at home. The buck starts with you and the buck stops with you. I'm tired of hearing people uh, sugarcoating and pushing the blame in somebody else. Nobody want to take the blame. The Bible said train up the child in the way that he should go. That when the child is old, should not depart from it. I remember back in the days, we had to go to Sunday school. No matter where we going after, we had to go to Sunday school. These days, parents aren't bringing the kids to Sunday school no more. They're taking them somewhere else. Lord, have mercy. Help us, Lord, in here. And because of that, we see what's happening in our society. We want to give God thanks today. Most of our kids has been mothered to death. What do I mean by mother? There's no father in the house because men has become sperm donor. Lord, I, I hope we don't have no sperm donor up in air, up in air, up in air. 
Amen. I hope we have responsible men in this place. Amen. A sperm donor is not a man. Any man that would leave his child for somebody else to raise it needs some good lick. Oh, Lord, 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 help us in here. Ain't no stepfather ain't raising my child. The devil is a liar. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm talking very plain today because there are plain people that I need to understand. I'm not pretty enough, nothing. I'm giving you just like it is. A whole lot of man up in this place today, and I'm not pretending. Oftentimes, because the father is absent in the home, children grow up and just do whatever they want to do and say whatever they want. You know, it's, no matter how much mother talk to a child, mother will be here talking, 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 but the father just give one look. No matter how, no matter how my wife talking to my kids, if I just go and just, because daddy have a certain look. And kids know when daddy gives you a certain look, that means you better, you better, you better know what's about to happen up in here. You don't behave yourself, you know, because kids don't want whipping of the father. And can I tell you the truth? Fathers really don't whip their kids. I'm telling you, I don't be mine. All I do is just look at them. And when I give them one look sometimes, they just start crying. Because the father is the disciplinarian. Oh, mother, we're not killing you today, mom, but I'm telling you, whenever fathers are in the house, there is trouble. Amen. So I'm so glad today to see the good support structure today that we have here. Come on, clap your hands again for everybody that's on this podium today. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And so we begin our blessing. Amen. Brown and brown. That means the child should be white. Oh, yes, it's brown. It's looking good. Pretty. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay. So we have Baggio Junior Amen. Brown. Woo! Clap your hands. That sounds like a whole lot of money to one. <laughs> I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't mind if I touch you, right? I would be numb. Close your eyes. Stretch your hands up here. Father, in the name of Jesus, we present a mayor Brown with Junior of Ford. Thank you for the mother and father and the grandparents and the grandmother and everybody, the godfathers and the government, everybody that's here today. Father, we pray right now as we put a mayor before you. We come against every sickness, every disease, every principality, every powers of darkness. Let no evil spirit bother this child. Let not this child go in and out of the hospital in the name of Jesus. I pray that there will be divine resources. I pray right now that every sickness will be pushed back in the name of Jesus. Let Mr. Brown not become a don, a statistic of society. But I pray today I speak over his life that he shall be a doctor. He shall be a lawyer, the next governor general, the next prime minister. I speak blessing over his life. I speak prosperity over his life. I speak long life over his life. I pray today in the name of Jesus that he shall be a blessing and not a curse. I pray in the name of Jesus I, I dedicate him and I commit him into your hands today. Let the blessings of heaven fall upon a mere ground today. Let heaven be opened up over his life. In the name of Jesus and I decree and declare Father that no 
weapon that form against him shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, we pull down everything that's out of you, Satan. We rebuke your hands right now. We circle a meal with your blood, with your power, with your anointing. In the name of Kataba, I feel the Holy Oh God, I was praying and I just felt the power of God. Somebody shout glory. Feel the Holy Ghost in here. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Give me a hint, quick. Amen. Clap your hands, everybody. All is good. All is good. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask you all to shift positions so you can turn around since you're so large. So both of you going to go to the front and their supporting cast going to come behind you. So parents come to the front and everybody else will go to the back. Praise the Lord Jesus for prophetic house of worship. And we present to you today Baby Junior, Amir Brown, and parents before you in the mighty name of Jesus. You can hold it to mom because I'm gonna let it go. Yes, praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Congregation, receive in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands for the Lord. Amen. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you for choosing Prophetic House today. God bless you, everybody.